today's project is a pure sine wave inverter for my Ford Escape Hybrid. Um, I'm finding that I need the ability to charge my iPad and my Matterport Pro 2 camera when I'm out in the great universe. So I didn't want to use a cheap uh, inverter because they don't really get along with um, electronics, particularly switching power supplies really don't like um, modified sine wave converters or worse. So ordered this Vestec for about 50 bucks on Amazon. Maybe it was $60. I don't know. Comcast is out yet again with no notice. Um, so, you know, while we're waiting for that to come back, I'm going to do a little video. So it has some rather well done instructions, you know, pretty impressive. Uh, Good customer service is available. It has an 18 month warranty, which is actually quite surprising. Uh, it came with two two fuses. Maybe they're extras, maybe they're not. If I wanted to plug it in, um, there's a little USB, uh, or not USB, a cigarette lighter adapter. It has a little label that says, please keep it under 150 watts. And that makes sense because that's 10 amps. Um, so let's uh, recycle the box. It came with these nice uh, these are actually pretty pretty hefty. It's a shame because I don't need these alligator clips. Um, you'll see why. So, and then here we've got the nice little thing. So these are supposed to be the fuses. So let's see if we've got fuses in here. And so probably this is the only thing that I would object to is using fuses. And these are hmm, slightly aggravating to get apart. Oh, there they go. You just gotta. So it, those are spare fuses. Um, I would have put, uh, and, and if I ever blow these, I will put re self resetting circuit breakers in because this is just, this is not a situation where you want uh, to have to mess with it. So it has a little fan, and then there are some nice terminals on the back, and it looks like what we've got is just some little threaded knurled knobs, but they've gone ahead and put some little plastic pieces on top of them, that's nice. And then you've got, um, these are 2.4 amp uh, rated um, USB ports. So 2.4 times five is uh, 12 amps, or 12 watts. And then these are 210 volt, and there's an on off. Um, and overall, it's a nice, nice little unit. Um, we'll see how it does with some double stick tape on the side of it, because that's how it's going to get mounted. But for now, let's go out and get it mounted. I apologize if you were expecting something really exciting, because this is not going to be really exciting. I have a terminal mounted inside here, and this is a 30 amp self-resetting circuit breaker here. And there's also a 30 amp under the the uh, hood, um, so I'm going to hook it to here. In fact, we're going to use we're just going to use the seat as a as a ground because we know that the seat bolt is is good. And we'll I'll eventually convert this. But for now. We're just going to hook it up like this, which isn't terribly exciting. In fact, I don't even think I have anything that runs on 12, 110 volt out, out here. Yeah, I probably need a better ground. So let me go find something that runs on 120 volts. And the reason I'm not worried about this is the escape is essentially a self propelled generator. So really not that big of a deal. Right back. So I've got a battery charger. This is not perfect, but it will it will work for illustration purposes. Well, maybe that's not a good ground. 
because I was really expecting to see something happen here. And we'll use this temporarily. searching for a ground. If I remember right, these were grounded. I really would have expected to see something happen here. Hmm. Let me look. Okay, so it turns out it's really sensitive for the ground, and if it doesn't have a good ground, it's not going to run. So um, anyway, here it is. It is running off the battery. No telling what it's drawing. Um, I'm going to hardwire it in so that I make sure I have a good ground. And um, interestingly, the fuses are 40 amps, which suggests that it's actually rated for closer to 400 watts. But um, at any rate, this seems to be a reasonably well-made device and it's probably going to get mounted down in here somewhere. That, that could be it right there. The little fan is kicked on, so it, it may get double stuck tape down here. That, that's probably a good spot for it. I got to play with what's going to get plugged into it first and make sure this works. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and not too laughable. Have a great day.